Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to host a website on Google Cloud for free in 2023. Of course, Google Cloud Platform or GCP, which is Google Cloud Platform, offers a range of services and with the right approach, you can host a basic website without incurring any costs. And of course, in this guide, we'll walk you through the essential steps to do that. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and sign up for a Google Cloud platform. If you don't have one already, you can simply go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser. And of course, in your case, you can use any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, make sure to go to the URL section and simply you will have to go and type Google Cloud and hit the enter button. Once you do so, make sure to click on this first link, which is Google Cloud. And once you are here, if you don't know much about us, of course, you can scroll down, read more information about the websites. It's very important to do that. And of course, you'll be able to even familiarize yourself with some uh, of their informations. You can see just from here, you'll be able to know a lot of information about us, example. Let's just have a basic idea as an example, like from like AI and machine learning, compute, storage, a database, data analytics, networking, and even developers too. So of course for us, we will have to go and log in into our account if you have an account by clicking at the top right corner, login option or sign in option. For me, I've already signed in or I'm, I'm signed in already. And of course, if you don't have an account, you'll have to click on get started for free and you'll be able to get started for free and create your website or host your website on Google Cloud in 2023 for free, but just for 90 days. Keep that in mind. After that, you will have to go and get a plan for yourself because you will get a free trial of 90 days. After that, you will not be able to have it for free. So just keep that in mind for the rest of this video. Of course, now we will have to go navigate to the Google Cloud console as example. So go to your console as example. And that's going to be, as example, our console. So what we'll need to do here is basically set up a virtual machine or a VM. So once you log in, once you go to your uh, Google Cloud console, of course, this is basically the central hub where you will manage all your resources and services. Now, as we said, we'll have to start by uh, creating a virtual machine. Make sure to navigate into Compute Engine in the console, as example, and you'll find this here in Quick Access. If you didn't find that, you can simply click on these three lines at the top left corner as an example. So here is it. Click on that. And as you can see here, if you go here to the to the middle, you'll find the compute engine. As you can see, you can end pin it if you want to because those are pinned and you can find even more products here if you want to. So once you go to compute engine, you will have to go and select the appropriate machine for your website. You have, as you can see, the VM instance instance template, sole tenant node, machine image, TPU, S, and committed use discount, reservations, migrate uh, to virtual machines. So depending on whatever you want, you will have to go and choose one as an example. So let's just wait for the page until it loads. And as you can see, for you, if you enable this option, if you if you tried this compute engine API, you will have to go and start, or you will basically go and start this for free. Of course, you will have to fill up your informations like where you're from as an example and fill up your billing information and address and a lot of other stuff so you can get access to your free trial because without that, you will not be able to do any of that. So once you get your free trial, then you will be able to start doing that. So as I said, once you get and set up your virtual machine, make sure to select the region and zone where you want to deploy your VM or virtual machine. Keep in mind that certain regions may have different pricing. If you are not, of course, in your free trial, so make sure to choose the one that's eligible for free like tier or for the free tier for you. Of course, make sure to set up firewall rules allow to allow, of course, incoming traffic to your virtual machine. Create a new firewall rule that allow HTTP traffic port 90 and HTTPS traffic port 443. And HTTP is for like 89, not 90. I've, I was wrong. So after that, make sure to choose for you an operating system. You can select an operating system for your virtual machine 
uh, Ubuntu, of course, is a popular choice for web hosting due to its use or its user friendly nature. You can even, as an example, connect via SSH. Once your virtual machine is created, uh, you can connect to it via SSH, and this will open a terminal window where you can set up your web server. Of course, other than that, you'll be able to install a web server, Apache or Nginx, and of course, these servers will handle incoming web requests. Then, make sure to go and upload your website files to the virtual machine. You can use tools like SCP or SFTP to transfer files from your local machine to the virtual machine. If you have a domain, you can even point it to your virtual machine's API uh, or IP address, and this can be done by configuring the DNS settings with your domain registrar. As an example, go to any domain registrar that you have, like I'll just do an example with GoDaddy, I have a domain name in there. And of course, I'll just simply go and sign in, I'm already signed in, just go to my products here and simply go to domains right here and click on manage or DNS basically, because once we click on manage, we'll have to get into DNS as an example. So make sure to go to DNS. Once you are on DNS, make sure to go to the name servers and you will have to change that. As you can see now, I have NS07 domain control.com and NS08 domain control. I'll simply have to click on change name servers and click that I will use my own and simply type the name servers of the Google Cloud here so you can transfer this domain name or use this domain name for your virtual machine of your new websites. And of course, if you need any other uh, thing that you may not found as an example, you find here some tutorials and documentations that will help you do anything that you want, as you can see. So here you'll be able to see how you can do a custom machine types, a predefined machine types, sports machine, confidential computing, and right sizing the recommendation. As an example, if you don't know how to do one of those. As an example, there's everything that you may want here in this tutorial or this documentation. And of course, once you set up your domain, if you want to, you can leave it as it is, or you can set up a domain. If you want like a custom domain from you, you will be basically good to go. You, congratulations, I can just say congratulations. You've successfully like hosted a website on your Google Cloud for free in 2023. Remember the free tier has certain limitation and so be mindful of resource usage. And this setup is suitable for basic websites, blogs, or projects. As your website grows, you may need to consider additional resources or paid hosting options. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe for our channel for more helpful tutorials like this one. And I will see you, of course, in the next video. So, take care and goodbye.